Over the last two years, we've been doing uh, a global survey of coral reefs all around the world. Now we're here in our 21st country, American Samoa. When I first heard about Teu, I was really amazed that I hadn't heard of this place before. It's got the largest corals in the world, 13 meters across. Hopefully we'll be able to successfully photograph Big Mama, the largest coral in the world. And we've got the opportunity to go in there with our special cameras to photograph them in a way that's not been possible before. And then with these images, we can really reveal them to the world. Yeah, I have coordinates for Big Mama. We are right about here in the southwest portion of Tyler Island. So we just arrived at Teu and this should be the site of Big Mama, somewhere around here. I'm really excited. I've um, been looking forward to this moment since we heard about it about probably four or five months ago. Um, so we're about to jump in um, and see Big Mama for the first time. Corals globally are seen as a canary in the coal mine because they are really um, demonstrating the effects of climate change. Now this coral here has been around for over 500 years. And definitely this will be one of the largest canaries you could possibly get for showcasing the effects of climate change. Well for me this is, is the most important part of our expedition, uh, really capturing these giant corals. And none of this would have been possible without the invention of the SV2 camera. What it allows us to do is take 360 degree images every three seconds as we're navigating underwater environments. Well, that was the first dive today, uh, taking the, the SV2S camera over and meet Big Mama, which we found, first of all, so, you know, that was a, that was a win and um, she stood there really, really, really big um, and in this crystal clear blue which really made her even stood out even more. So we've just got back from American Samoa and we're back in our Sydney office downloading the, the uh, images from the camera, stitching them and having a, a first look at what we've got. And as you can see from the image here, uh, they're coming out beautifully. It's exactly as we remembered it underwater, um, looking really, really healthy. Each one of these images will be an accurate scientific record with which scientists can come back in five years, 10 years, and see what change has happened. Really, our oceans are changing at an unprecedented rate, both in terms of temperature and chemistry. And whether Big Mama will be able to survive for another 500 years is quite frankly doubtful unless we really tackle the, the issues uh, very, very quickly. <laughs>